Over the last couple of weeks here on the channel, I've done videos on the US military poncho liner, also known as the Whoopi Blanket. Initially, I did the review. Then I showed you all the latest variant of this very popular product. The latest version features a zipper that goes all the way around the body, so it can be used as a sleeping bag. Now, folks, we're going to focus on a copycat. This is a copycat sleeping bag poncho liner. This is a really interesting product. Going all the way down to the label, which features an NSN number an NSN number that ties into the military product, not this one. This is strange, folks. This really is. This is a copycat, a rather expensive copycat. It comes with a storage bag that says made in China <laughs> right on there. United States military surplus is never made in China. You're not going to find this on a military product from the US. Just in case you do not know everyone, the US poncho liner is a rather famous piece of military kit. It can be used underneath a poncho in wet weather, cool conditions. It can be used as a sleeping bag. You can use it as a protective cover, a blanket, and so on. Over the years, this product has changed very little. It was rolled out during the Vietnam era, and since that point in time, it's been used all around the world, again, with very few changes. The latest version features a zipper that goes around the body, so you can use it more as a sleeping bag. It makes the product more efficient at keeping the soldier warm and basically blocking wind drafts and so on. It's a good change. It's a good feature in my opinion. In the previous videos that I put up, I've spoken a ton about these products, so I'm not going to rehash the same things over and over. Let's focus primarily on this knockoff version, and we will compare it to the legit version. As I've also mentioned in previous episodes, there are numerous companies out there making knockoff copycat military surplus products, and this is a great example. Oftentimes, you will see these listed as like a style or type. Those are keywords that some companies use. So they may say like, this is a US military poncho style liner, or they may say a US military type liner, something along those lines. Then again, there's some companies who will do anything to make a sale. They will make it very difficult for the average Joe to see a difference between a legit piece of military surplus and the product they're selling. Basically, they will do anything for money. And basically, everyone, that's what we have here. This is from Brooklyn Armed Forces. And this costs $60 for a poncho liner. That's quite a bit of money. Even for a zippered one, $60 is quite a bit. Poncho liners in used military surplus condition will go for about 20 bucks. Brand new one, about $40. The zippered version, that's a little bit different because there's not many of those out there. This is still pretty new. I paid $32 for a grade D condition one. A grade B was about 100 bucks. In time, when there's more quantity, the prices of those will go down. $32, in my opinion, was a great deal. I did have to do some repairs, which I talked about in the previous episode, which focused on the zippered model. As I mentioned before, this is the Brooklyn Arms version. You get this storage bag. Take a look at the size of this thing. It's huge. This is about 18 inches long. It's about eight, nine inches wide. This is quite a bit bigger than a traditional military surplus poncho liner. The military version doesn't come with a storage bag. This one does. In my opinion, it feels like a polyester, but I'm not 100% sure. This is the liner itself, and it's in some sort of funky woodland camo. It is not military camo by any means. The company says that this is a nylon material. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but this feels like the cheapest polyester I've ever seen. There is some sort of polyester batting on the inside. It does not compress to the same degree as the military version. It does have a zipper on it. It says it's YKK, but I would be shocked <laughs> if it really was. There's quite a bit about this company, the Brooklyn Armed Forces, that I don't know. I've done my best to research them, and I could find virtually nothing. I've seen a couple of sites that are selling their products. The companies that are selling their products describe the company as making genuine US military products, but I have not been able to confirm that. In fact, most sources state that this company makes copycats, knockoffs. It's not legit. This is not legit military surplus. I can tell you that. And I don't care what the label says. This feels so <laughs> this feels like a kid's toy. It does have a label on here, and it says liner, wet weather poncho. The thing is, there's all sorts of grammar mistakes, punctuation mistakes. There is an NSN number, and I've researched this, but it does not relate to any Brooklyn Armed Forces products. None that I've seen. Everything goes back to Winston-Salem Industries for the Blind. That's a company that makes legit military surplus for the U.S. military. They make the poncho liner. This company is using an NSN number that goes back to one of their products. I don't even know if that's legal. I'd be curious to find out. What are the legal ramifications of a company pretending to sell military surplus? I don't know. 
I don't know. You can see here, this is a UPC tag. You will find these on products sold at stores, department stores, grocery stores, and so on. It's for inventory control. You're not going to find a UPC code on legit military surplus, only on civilian products such as this. Now, I do want to say this, everyone, when it comes to the Brooklyn Armed Forces, if I'm wrong about this company and you can prove it, please do. Again, I've researched them quite extensively. I have not found any sort of evidence that proves that they make legit military surplus. None at all. I've researched NSN numbers, I've looked for military products, and I've seen absolutely nothing. This is a company that you see popping up here and there selling knockoff replica copycat products. That's it. At the end of this episode, my question for you all will be this. Do you think this is legit military surplus? As it stands right now, I do not. In front of you, everyone, we have both of the liners side by side. This is the Brooklyn Armed Forces. This is the legit military surplus version. And actually, I have the traditional version underneath it. This is digital woodland. That's legit. Take a look at whatever this is. It looks like a kid's sleeping bag or something. It's very kitty looking, very, very cheap looking. At the same time, it feels very, very cheap. You can see the zipper. You can see the poncho tie-off points. It says YKK, but I don't know. I just don't know. The quality of this bag is pretty poor. There's loose threads all over the place. Here's the label that I've spoken so much about. You have the UPC information. Brooklyn Armed Forces. The NSN number that's not tied to this product. Again, folks, there's all sorts of grammar issues, punctuation issues, and so on on this. It's pretty funny, actually. When it comes to legit military surplus, it is treated with a water repellent treatment. That is not the case with this one here. No water repellency treatment has been done to this. Now with this knockoff liner here, I've already gone over the stuff, the storage measurements. When it comes to the length and width of this, when it's unfolded, 85 inches by 32 inches, and the weight is a little bit over two pounds. When comparing these products, you can definitely tell the difference between the feel of the materials, and that's going to be the biggest differences, especially when you go to compress this. This thing is about twice the size as this one, and that's a hallmark of very cheap, inexpensive materials. Cheaper insulation means that you have to have more of it, and that explains why it's just so dang big when you go to compress it. It's the size of a sleeping bag. This really does fold up to the, about, about the size of a small blanket. This here, it's huge. And again, everyone, the materials, they just feel so cheap. When it comes to the overall design of this knockoff, it is very close to the legit military surplus. You have the same tie-off points, so you can attach this to a poncho. You have the zipper, of course. You can use it as a sleeping bag and so on. The only thing is, boy, does it feel cheap. And also, it's quite a bit heavier when you go hands-on with this compared to the military version. This has got a little bit of weight to it, and again, it goes back to the cheaper materials. This reminds me of like the very, very cheap sleeping bags that you used to be able to find at Walmart, maybe like back in the 90s. It's kind of funny because I really haven't seen materials that cheap in a long time. Things have gotten better. So even when you compare this to like the cheapest of sleeping bag, I mean, this is cheap. This feels really, really cheap. As I mentioned before, the overall quality of this is okay. The stitching is not the best. There's loose stitches all over the place. You can see some mistakes with the actual stitching itself. If this was legit military surplus, I would say the United States is doomed. <laughs> They're doomed to fail because this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. There really is no comparison to the legit military surplus version. It's a night and day difference. I don't even know what this camo would be. It looks like some sort of like kids Mickey Mouse camo pattern. Pretty hideous to be honest with you. Whereas the woodland, the digital, that looks so sweet. I think that really looks cool. Additional differences between this version, the knockoff and the legit version. This has a single zipper. Whereas the legit military surplus, it has two way zippers. So it can be opened at both ends for quick exit. This features an actual metal tab on the zipper, whereas the legit military surplus does not. It has a corded pull. Also, this is not reversible. You cannot turn this inside out. And why would you? The inside is the same color as the outside. In the end, everyone, that's pretty much it when it comes to this product. This is without a doubt, in my opinion, an inferior copy a knockoff. I do not recommend this. I paid $60 for this on eBay and I would not recommend it. If you're going to go out and you're looking for a poncho liner, a legit one from the U.S. military, make sure that you see that tag. 
If the seller doesn't show pictures of it, ask to see it. Don't buy something from Brooklyn Armed Forces. You want to make sure that it comes from the Winston-Salem Industries for the Blind. That's legit. This is a knockoff. A very expensive knockoff. $60 for this, in my opinion, it is simply not worth it. It is not worth it. And as soon as you go hands-on with this, you will agree. I purchased this, so you do not have to. Again, everyone, I need to state this, that when it comes to my speculation about this company, that's what it is. It's speculation. I've, I've based my thoughts and opinions here on my experience with military surplus. I based everything else on the research that I've done so far. And again, I can find no mentioning of this company anywhere on the internet, with the exception of a few sites that are selling their products. That's it. Most of the feedback about their products say that it's junk, and I tend to believe it. Folks, if you like this episode, hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can support the channel by being a member on Patreon or here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Join the Wolf Pack. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda-free. It's all about sharing information, and that's it. It's not about selling products or product placement or anything like that. I review products that you all ask me to, and that's what this channel is all about. I'll give it to you straight. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. If you agree, great. If you disagree, great. That's what it's all about. For now, I'm done. This zippered US poncho liner is sweet. The knockoff one, not so much. <laughs> Bye for now, folks. Take care. <laughs>